Hi guys! This is my new baby. Well, she's not that new. Uh, we rescued her at work and um, I brought her home with me. So um, here she is. Her name is MC. I'm not going to tell you what that stands for because then you'll know where I work. But um, there she is. She's a gorgeous little thing. She's so cute. Okay, here you go, baby. Okay. Careful, your hands are cold. Well, hi, guys. So I'm here to make this really quick video. I had a request. Um, for a skincare routine. I also had another one for my top favorite lip liners, which I will get to that later when I have um, a little more time. Um, so I'm here um, just doing this really quick uh, video for you. So first of all, it is absolutely rare that I go to bed with makeup on uh, because I always um, use some sort of anti-aging cream or uh, some sort of uh, product to help moisturize my skin while I sleep. So, I'm going to start off with, um, the first thing I use to take off my makeup are these things that I have been using for, I'm, I'm going to say, at least a year and a half. And they're these Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. And I've been using these blue ones forever. I don't get the purple ones or the pink ones, which smell like grapefruit. I mean, they literally smell like grapefruit, grapefruit and it just irritates me. Anyway, my son's telling me to hurry. So, um, I use these um, to just um, wipe whatever makeup I can off. And these are what the little towelettes look like. They're pretty um, uh, big and they're very, very soft and stretchy. And these do a really, really good job. I've tried to find a cheaper alternative to those and they just, just don't work. So, um, aside from that, I had recently purchased this new um, one-step gentle cleanser from the same Neutrogena line. And uh, I've been using this right after I use the wipey just to see, you know, take off whatever's left over. And this works really, really great. And it smells really good. So, I've been enjoying that. After my face is, um, sorry, you take comfortable. Stop making noises with your phone if I'm filming. Um, so after my face is, um, clean and <laughs> I can see her up there. Can you see her tits on the film? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Right. Right here. Mama! <laughs> okay, anyway. So after I have my cleansed skin, um, once or twice a week, I love to use this Dermatologica Skin Resurfacing Cleanser. And uh, this little one ounce bottle was, I think, between 10 to $12. But I've had it for roughly maybe three to six months. I don't exactly remember, but it's lasted me a long time. And it still has plenty of product in there. So all you need to do is, um, I won't do it on my skin right now because it does, uh, well, let me just tell you. What you do is with a cleansed face, you um, dampen your skin and then with your hands damp, you take two little pumps of this, you rub it in your hands and you use circular motions all over your face for about 30 seconds and then you rinse it off really, really well. And after you're done with that, you need to make sure you rinse your hands because one time when I didn't really, um, when I used this and I didn't really rinse off my hands, my hands peeled. Uh, not horribly, but there was this light peeling, and that's because it takes off um, the the layer of skin or dead cells off your face. So this is really, really good. It leaves your face really, really smooth and ready for um, moisturization during the night. Um, another thing that I use um, quite often is the Clarins, wait, let me see, it's dirty, I don't know why, it's because it's in my makeup bag in the bathroom, my Clarins um, Toning Lotion, I use this just to kind of tone my skin and just get any little um, dirt out of my pores, because I do wear foundation, so this is really, really good. After that, I um, have, I ran into this product because Philosophy was having a 30% off um, sale and I actually got the um, 
it, it's called Help Me, and it's a retinol night treatment. And I actually, when when I first um, saw it on the Philosophy website that I had a 30% off, I bought the small one, and um, it was about eighteen dollars or so for the small one and I decided to give it a try and that stuff was amazing I mean it really I really saw a difference in my skin uh, just the texture was a lot better uh, in the morning you could tell that my skin just looked really smooth you could tell along my cheekbones and my chin and my forehead it just looked really kind of smooth and shiny so I went ahead and the next time that I was at Ulta I bought the bigger size this is um, kind of expensive but a little goes a long way um, it's just a little cream I, hope, I don't want to waste it but it's just a little cream and um, what I do is just, I just take a little dollop and I put one here 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 and I just rub it into my skin and let it set for a moment and I sleep with that on as well as that I use something for my eyes um, and it's the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye Cream and this is just um, a little cream that um, looks like this and I actually take about this much for each eye and I place it just here in the center and then I rub it across the bottom of my um, lower um, this area here and that just really kind of um, prevents the dark circles and just moisturizes um, that area now um, another thing that I've been using this is a rather inexpensive product you can find this at Walgreens it's about five bucks or so and I saw it there and I decided to buy it because I do have a lot of pigmentation here along my cheekbone I had a lot of it um, I guess it's like age spots or not um, sun spots is what they call them and so um, and that's what it, technically it says it fades dark spots for even natural skin tone and for five dollars I decided to give it a um, give it a try and it's um, I don't know it's got some the active ingredients you can I don't know if you can see that but um, this has been working really well and I just take some of this cream and I just place it in this area here and I also place it in any um, area where I've had like a pimple or something where it kind of leaves a dark spot and I'll keep putting it in that area and I sleep with that on now another uh, one that I use for my under eye area when I don't use this product is um, this Kiehl's Rose Rosa Artica and it's just a moisturizer it's a youth regenerating cream and um, this is what it looks like and what I like about this actually <laughs> is that when you put it on your skin it actually has like a cooling sensation like a mint like a minty sensation and it feels just really yummy so you can actually use this all over your face but um, it's kind of expensive so I just use it for my under eye area because that's the area that's most sensitive that's the area that's the thinnest and that's the area that ages fastest so that's the area you need to take care of uh, one last product sorry excuse me one last product that I use that um, I don't use it too often but uh, when I do reach for it and use it and sleep with it on it just really makes a big difference and it's this Josie Marin um, argon oil and it's a hundred percent pure um, organic moisturizer and it just comes in this little squeezy tube and it's like a little oily substance and but it's it you know you put it on and it is an oil but it kind of sinks into your skin really quickly and it kind of plumps your skin up and it's really really yummy and I like the fact that it's organic so I think that's it actually so uh, we're almost out of time and my son wants to say hi and he follows some guy on what sweetie? Tech Boom TV for tech reviews for he's a techie person so um, he follows Tech Boom TV so if you guys are into technology he wants you to check that out. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.